This exclusive presentation of the 2016 Rochester High School graduation ceremony is made possible through the support of these wonderful sponsors. RTC Fiber Communications, now offering wireless internet, fiber broadband, voice and cable television services. Stop in today to see how RTC can help you, your family and your business. Celebrating 120 years of service to this community, RTC Fiber Communications. Rochester Glass Company, serving the Fulton County area since 1956. Family owned and operated, Rochester Glass provides automotive, residential and commercial glass service. Fulton County Solid Waste. Save money, save time and help the environment with our new Pay As You Throw program. Purchase your bags at Solid Waste during normal business hours. Only pay for the bags you need. Fulton County Solid Waste. WROI 92.1 FM and WROIFM.com Congratulations to the graduating class of 2016. Keep tuning in to the area's leader in local sports, news, and great music. 92.1 FM, WROI. Tonight's program is also sponsored in part by these fine local businesses. Beacon Credit Union, Evans Agency, Woodlawn Hospital, First Federal Savings Bank. Please support these great local businesses that support our community.
I'm Chris Keesling, Assistant Principal of Rochester High School. Let me be the first to say congratulations, Class of 2016. Today is your day. Capture the moment and relish the feeling of excitement and joy that you've brought to your family. On behalf of the Rochester Community School Corporation, it is an honor to recognize and to introduce everyone on stage that is with us today. The School Board of Trustees, we have Pastor Don Meyer, Mrs. Sandy Tyler, Mr. St uh, Stephen Schaller, Mr. Brad Weaver, Secretary, Mrs. Jennifer Smith, Vice President, Mrs. Lisa Lee, President, Mr. Tom Schwank, and Superintendent, Mrs. Jan. <laughs> the high School Administration, we have Mr. Adam Strasser. And Mr. Helt would be here, but he can't be because he's uh, doing something very important in his life right now. They've uh, brought in a, a brand new baby girl into their lives and their family, so. <laughs> Congratulations to them. I would, I would like to say it's a new zebra, but it's not really a zebra. It truly is a baby girl. <laughs> Senior class guidance counselors, Mrs. Tara Seifer, and Mrs. Wendy Trindine, we'd like to say a big thank you to you for the valuable guidance that you've given us and provided to ensure that these graduates have met the requirements. Thank you again for the uh, senior class guidance counselors. <laughs> senior class sponsor, Mr. Tony Stasiak, in the back. At this time, I would like to say a special thank you to Mrs. Ann Beeler and Mrs. Kristen Horn for all those tireless behind the scenes efforts in organizing the ceremony today. They've done so many different things and uh, sometimes when we need to plug holes, they've just done so many things to help us through this and the organization has been fantastic. A big thank you to these two women. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Bach Mrs. Smoker, Mrs. Onnefeld, and Mrs. Paris for all the administrative support they've also supplied. Give them a round of applause as well. I'll now ask you for the following people to stand as you have all played a major role in helping these graduates reach this goal. I would like for all the Rochester community teachers and staff members that are in attendance to please stand. Thank you for all your valuable contributions to the education development of our youth. At this time, I'd, let's take a moment to recognize a few others that will be actually graduating with this class. If you are in attendance, please stand as we wish you all the best of luck in your retirement. Melinda Burkett, Instructional Assistant at Columbia Elementary. Vicki Horaho, Instructional Assistant at Columbia Elementary. Barbara Van Dyne, Teacher at Columbia Elementary. Paul Helstern, Teacher at Riddle Elementary. Nora Hutkins, Instructional Assistant at Riddle Elementary. And Bill Nicholson, bus driver, and Jerry Bretzinger, also building technician at Riddle Elementary. I think I might have said that once. Let's give them a big round of applause and thank you for your years of service. These graduates will not be here today without the love and the support of their families. We'd like to recognize and appreciate the role that the families play in the education of their students. This is a big role to fill. We would like to, first of all, uh, congratulate and recognize the following people. Grandparents, brothers, sisters, would you please stand? If you're a grandparent, a brother, or a sister, please stand. All right. Awesome.
In honor of the graduates' parents, you serve a very important role and you've played in your children's education, and we ask that you stand as your student crosses the stage and receives their, their diploma. Thank you for valuing your, their, your child's education. And finally, before we proceed, please be reminded that the graduation ceremony is intended to be a dignified ceremony. As a matter of respect and safety, the school board and the administration of Rochester Community School uh, Corporation request that you cons uh, the guests consider the formality of the ceremony and refrain from using air horns and or no noise makers during the graduation ceremony. We do have officers on duty and have been authorized to confiscate, confiscate such devices. Use of an air horn will delay the ceremony so while the item is being removed from the gym. So Rochester High School requests your help in maintaining the dignity and honor of the graduation. At the conclusion of the ceremony, parents and friends can meet the graduates in the auxiliary gym. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2016. You'll now be an alumni and a zebra forever. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce the class of 2016's valedictorian and salutatorian. This year's salutatorian is Taryn Stockberger. <laughs> Taryn is the daughter of Raymond and Luann Stockberger. Taryn will be attending Purdue University in the fall. She will be majoring in accounting and Taryn's goal is to become a certified public accountant. Congratulations, Taryn. This year's valedictorian is Eli Pugh. Eli is the son of Kevin and Jill Pugh. Eli will be attending Stanford University in the fall and will study mathematics. Eli's goal is to earn a doctorate in mathematics and become a college mathematics professor. Congratulations, Eli. Good evening, parents, grandparents, family, administrators, and most notably, my fellow class of 2016. High school goes by faster than you can imagine. Everyone here has heard these words before, and only now can we appreciate how true they are. Well, just four years ago, most of us walked into these halls as nervous as we were on the first day of school. We were just freshmen, fighting with the locks on our lockers and trying to figure out where our next class was all while looking genera generally clueless to the upperclassmen. But now we are the upperclassmen, the seniors sitting here in our caps and gowns, ready to graduate and move forward in the world. It has been both a long and short four years. Long because of all the hard homework assignments, group projects, dull readings, and the, all the numerous all-nighters consisting of doing work we had days to complete. Short because of the lifelong friendships, the lasting memories, and the truly interesting and amazing things we learned between the occasional bits of drudgery. Good or bad, long or short, I will always remember this place. Yet, even at this pivotal moment in our lives, we can't help but look back on all the good times we shared and all that we have learned here at RHS. Throughout these four years, we can never forget hearing Mr. Screeton yelling from his classroom and his many famous sayings, my favorites including, only good men go to Taylor, Arms are for huggies, and no smoking, drinking, or dipping. <laughs> After all, there is a Twitter page dedicated to him. Or how on the first day of meeting our principal, Mr. Strasser, he referenced little John by saying skeet, skeet. <laughs> Great first impression, I might add. And we certainly cannot forget Mr. Reinhold and Mrs. Shelley and how they gave a crap. Not only did these people make school days a little more tolerable, 
but also they, along with all the teachers, teachers at RHS, taught us great things in the process. They taught us working cooperatively is imperative to team and individual success. Making mistakes provide valuable learning opportunities. Working hard pays off in the end, and critical thinking creates broad, adventurous, and innovative thinkers. But without the help and guidance of these great educators, where would we be? I would therefore like to thank our teachers. Thank you for so unselfishly sharing your time, talent, and knowledge with us. Yes, we know it was your job, but what you did for us went beyond the call of duty. You took the time to explain assignments, sometimes repeatedly because we weren't paying attention. You allowed us to come to your classroom after school for extra help when you could have gone home to spend time with your families. You put in the effort to make lessons more interesting so we wouldn't just tune them out. You demanded excellence from us whether or not we wanted to give it. You set the bar high and challenged us to live up to that, and for that I am forever grateful. But most of all, I would like to thank my fellow classmates for sticking by my side all these years. You have truly made these past 12 years ones that I will cherish forever. We have made so many memories that will last a lifetime. From all the sporting events, stealing the school mascot, learning card tricks in class, Mr. Stasiak knows what I'm talking about, and camping out on the practice football field, this year has been full of it all. Yet, it is still so hard to believe that we are seniors about to graduate high school, being sent off in the exciting but also terrifying real world. Some of us are ready to take it by storm, while others are uncertain of their future endeavors. But one thing I am certain of is that the class of 2016 is full of bright minds. We have the ability to make a difference in this world, whether we believe it or not. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. As each of you continue on with your own journeys, whether they be college, working, or just taking some time to find your purpose in this world, changes are bound to approach with light speed. So, as goodbye and hello start appearing more frequently in our vocabularies, discover your passions and hold tight to the dreams you build. Be bold enough to live true to yourself, be humble in shortcomings and mistakes, and be fearless in uncertainty. Give your best effort, grow outside your comfort zone, and remember that some opportunities only occur once. We are not entitled to tomorrow, so make today count. Pursue your goals and pursue your passions. Thank you to the class of 2016 for your friendships, memories, perseverance, and hard work over the years. I can't wait to see what you offer the world. Thank you. Good evening, parents, grandparents, family, faculty, and of course, class of 2016, we made it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Before I begin, I'd like to tell Mr. Stasiak back there, um, if you would like to fall asleep, I understand is payback for all the times I fell asleep in your econ class. <laughs> it's not that it was boring. Um, after lunch, I'm always ready for a nap. So, <laughs> thank you all so much for coming. It is truly a great honor for you to be listening to me speak. Oh, no. <laughs> it is truly a great honor for me to be speaking in front of you. We've been told in speech class before that if you're a really nervous speaker and um, you, you have problems with nerves, that when you come up, an easy way to deal with that, make yourselves less nervous, is to picture the crowd as naked. So, I'd like to say that I'm really uncomfortable right now, and the way, <laughs> the way Mr. Guard is looking at me is not helping the visualization. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll start the speech now. <laughs> I want to first congratulate all my classmates for making it through uh, four 180-day stints in this building. 720 days in all, you all have so much to be proud of. We've learned a lot in those 720 days. Mr. Stallball and Mr. Brown taught us about European literature. Mrs. Norris taught us about graduated cylinders and how they got their diplomas before us. Graduated cylinders. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mr. Screeton taught us about the graph of a sine curve and how to wear a great pair of Crocs. <laughs> Mr. Strasser taught us how to do a handspring cartwheel thing at basketball games. We've even been taught that's not as good of an idea as it might seem to steal your school mascot. <laughs> One thing that we've learned that will stick with us more than anything else is that hard work will always pay off in the end. All the late nights doing study guides over the information that wasn't even on the American Studies test. <laughs> All the late nights putting stress into getting a project done just in time to hear that you have one extra day, and all the SRI tests that can make you fall asleep even if you just drank three cups of coffee. All these experiences have culminated into the diplomas that we are receiving today, and as you go on through your life's journeys, remember that the curriculum you've crammed last minute will never be nearly as important as the life lessons that you've learned from the great people who teach at RHS. Contrary to popular belief, they don't teach for the modest salary they teach because they believe in every one of us. And um, I think I speak for all of us when I say thank you, teachers, administrators, and all the other wonderful staff at RHS. Now I want to give some extra special thanks to some special people for a minute here. Uh, these people have invested time and energy into me to make sure I succeed and I wouldn't be here without them. So thanks to my favorite teachers, Mr. Screeton and Mrs. Evans. Uh, their passion and energy um, made class just awesome. I know a lot of you guys had them and would agree. Um, thanks to my coaches, Stahlbaum, Brown, Reaney, and Weaver. Um, I was blessed to have the best running and swimming coaches out there. And they were motivating um, in practice, supportive outside of practice, and always there whenever I need something. And many of us who are athletes in the class of 2016 can say that we have learned just as much from our coaches about life as we have about athletics. Thanks to the community, all of you out there, and the support you give the students. Uh, thanks to my best friends, Jace, Wes, Jackson, and my brother Ian, for making some great memories with me. High school wouldn't have been fun without you guys. Thanks to my girlfriend, Maddie, for patiently keeping me company while I work and have too much homework to do something fun. Thanks to my biggest fan, my grandpa, Dale. He looked forward to watching me graduate more than anything, and he's smiling down from heaven. Thanks to all the loving and supportive parents out there, and especially mine. I couldn't have done this without them, and um, they are as much as responsible for this as I am. Class of 2016, give your parents a round of applause. Finally, I would like to thank all of you, my fellow students, for making the last four years of high school the best four years of my life. The memories that we made here will be in our hearts forever. I have a March birthday, so I could be a class of 2017 kid, but through kindergarten all the way through senior year, I've become really glad that I'm a part of a, a, a class of 2016 that is so exceptional. I've become so close with all of you and couldn't be more proud to be a part of this class. I look forward to rejoining together at class reunions to see the people you've become and all the things that you've accomplished. It's a funny thing already talking about reunions. Seems like just yesterday we were all scared trying to find all the classes on our freshman um, class list. And um, I'm sure all the parents out there remember dropping their kids off the first day of kindergarten. Wondering how we were already old enough to go to school by ourselves from eight to three. Eight to three still seems like a really long time. Seven hours? Seven hours is a lot of time, but in all reality, many of you will be finding jobs, working eight or 10 hours every day. So I encourage you, find something that you love to do. Go to college or go to the military, or go wherever it may be that life takes you and do what you love every day. Confucius said, choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. Think about if it seems like just yesterday that we were starting our first day of high school, then 25 years when some of us have kids graduating, it'll seem just like a week ago that we graduated. So life is too short to spend um, your time doing anything except for what you're passionate about. Steve Jobs said, my favorite things in life don't cost any money. It's really clear that the most precious resource we have is time. So I encourage you to take the lessons that you learned in high school to heart as you go on your life's journeys. Never stop chasing your passions. Never stop learning, growing, and giving. Thank you.
Mr. Stasiak, you can wake up now. I told Mr. Stasiak and Mr. Strasser I was going to get a haircut so my cap would fit better. Can't 
take the seat if you win it. I know I can, but now I see I'll never stop this train. The class of 2016 becomes the 136th graduating class of Rochester Community Schools and the sixth class to graduate as a New Tech class at RHS. Tonight we recognize the efforts of this class and the accomplishments they have achieved. The class of 2016 leaves with a legacy of which we are all very proud. 70% of this class will move on to a four-year, two-year, or technical college. 5% have chosen to serve their country in our armed forces, and 11% will be moving directly into the workforce. The class of 2016 will graduate 95% of the class. In preparation for future education, the class of 2016 amassed 441 college credits just during their senior year at RHS. 47 students earned individual scholarships at our annual honors night earning $155,270 towards their post-secondary education. The Department of Education has four diploma types a student can earn. The class of 2016 has 96% of the class earning academic honors, technical honors, or a core 40 diploma. You are an outstanding class of graduates, one that will be hard to match. At this time, I would like to recognize some honored groups of seniors. First sitting here in the front row, wearing solid gold tassels and honor medallions, are our highest academic achievers, the top 10 of the class of 2016. Top 10, please stand and be recognized. Next, I would like to recognize members of the National Honor Society. These students are recognized for their scholarship, service to others, leadership, and strong character. They are wearing gold cords. National Honor Society members, please stand and be recognized. The state has established tougher graduation requirements for certain diploma types. 55% of the class of 2016 are graduating with an academic honors diploma or technical honors diploma. Please stand and be recognized. Forty percent of the class has met the requirements to receive the Core 40 Diploma. Core 40 Diploma recipients, please stand and be recognized. Five percent of the class of 2016 has chosen to serve those of us in this room and their country. Those of you that are entering military service, thank you, and please stand and be recognized. The RHS class of 2016 is an outstanding group of individuals who excelled at nearly everything they attempted in high school. You excelled academically, athletically, musically, theatrically, philanthropically, and never failed to support each other at your events. When preparing for this evening, I've been struggling to find the words to properly describe the enormity of the pride and affection I feel for all of you. 
I wish I had the articulate ability of a Shaoli so I could come up with the perfect words to describe my feelings towards you. You are an amazing group of individuals. I wish that I had the time to personally convey to each one of you what a truly bright future you have and how much I will miss you as you move forward in your life. I do want to leave you with a few words of advice. Graduates often think this is their moment to strike out alone in the world and begin to make their mark. I know that many of you feel like it's just me, myself, and I. A solo ride until I die because <laughs> I've got me for life. You may be thinking, after all you have accomplished, I don't need a hand to hold. Even when the night is cold, I've got that fire in my soul. But that's not true. Each of you will always have a support system here when you need it. There will always be people to help you with whatever you may need at Rochester High School. Once a zebra, always a zebra. <laughs> Seniors, I wish that I could have spent more than two years with you. It has truly been an honor and a pleasure to serve as your principal, and I will truly miss you. Parents, please stand as your son or daughter receives her, his or her diploma. We want to recognize your contribution. Please honor this ceremony and applaud for each graduate after they receive their diploma. To the superintendent of schools, Mrs. Jana Vance, I certify that the class of 2016 has met the requirements for graduation set by the state of Indiana, the Board of School Trustees of Rochester Community School Corporation, and the faculty and staff at Rochester Community High School. This year's names will be read by our guidance counselors, Mrs. Tara Seifer and Mrs. Wendy Turneden. First row, please rise. Abigail Leland Caldwell, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Good, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Alexa Deanne Holland, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Allison Danielle Larkin, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Victoria Sedona Lee, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Tanner Dylan Powell, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Eli Jacob Pugh, Core 40 with Academic Honors and Technical Honors. Catherine Ann Schaller, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Keaton Renee Stasiak, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Taryn Lee Stockberger, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Brett Dylan Abbott, Core 40 with Academic Honors and Technical Honors. <laughs> Sarah 
Samuel Westwood Adams, Core 40 with academic honors. Alexis Lauren Agnew, Core 40 with academic honors. <clears throat> Laura Amesqua. Clay Matthew Bayou, Core 40 with academic honors. Dalton Tanner Bayou. Jonathan Lee Baker, Core 40. Brian Austin Benish, Core 40. Gavin John Bennett, Core 40 with academic honors. <clears throat> Jace Dean Bixler, Core 40 with academic honors. Alexander James Borg, Core 40. <laughs> Tabitha Marie Bowen. <laughs> Frederick Patrick Brissett. Evan Clay Broyette, Core 40, with academic and technical honors. <laughs> Michaela Elliott Brubaker, Core 40, with academic honors. <laughs> Daniel Thomas Butler, Core 40, with academic and technical honors. Jeremiah David Carpenter Rubies, Core 40. <laughs> Saray Brooke Carpenter, Core 40 with academic honors. <laughs> Matthew John Courtney, Core 40. Austin Christopher Shushelsky, Core 40. <laughs> Josiah Dean Dameron, Core 40. <laughs> Jessica Elizabeth Dalton, Core 40 with academic honors. Kendall Alexis Davis, Core 40. <laughs> Callahan Jean Decker, Core 40. <laughs> Trey Joseph Downauer, Academic and Technical Honors. Paige Marie Eriks, Core 40 with academic honors. <laughs> Brendan Lee Fansler, Core 40 with academic honors. <laughs> Austin Carr Fickle, 
Core 40 with academic and technical honors. Tristan Jordan Foster, Core 40. Jared Lucas Gamble, Core 40. Alexa Nicole Garrison, Core 40 with academic honors. Joey Rao Allen Garrison. Carissa K. Geyer, Core 40. Matthew Christopher Goldeen, Core 40. Malik Caesar Guerra, Core 40. Parker Ribley Haynes, Core 40. Joshua Zodi Heckathorn, Core 40. Travis Scott Harrell, Core 40 with academic honors. <laughs> Emily Nicole Hines, Core 40 with academic honors. <laughs> Gabrielle Marie Hoffman, Core 40. Philip Eugene Holcomb. <laughs> Alec David Holland, Core 40 with academic honors. <laughs> Lexan K. Holland, Core 40 with academic honors. Nathaniel Wayne Holloway, Core 40. Austin Casper Hoover, Core 40. <laughs> Daryl Jose Hopkins, Core 40. Sarah Marie Orban, Core 40. <laughs> Caleb Patrick David Houghton, Core 40 with academic honors. <laughs> Chad Mitchell Hudkins. David Michael Hughes, Core 40. Mercedes Justice Isaac, Core 40. Vanessa Rose Jaime Abernati. Case Shadow James, Core 40. Jackson Robert Jones, Core 40 with academic honors. Blake Andrew Katschke, Core 40.
Tanner Wayne Cotterman, Core 40. Jana Diane Kuhn, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Mariah Tess Lachance, Core 40. <laughs> Wilson Colquitt Lee, Core 40 with Academic <laughs> Honors. Tice Turner Lewis. Bobby Joe Allison Looker, Core 40. Julia Ann Loesch, Core 40. Rebecca Lynn Malco, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Hashmat Kar Mashiana, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Megan Michelle McCain, Core 40. Jacob Allen McCarter, Core 40. Connor Richard McLaughlin, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Wesley Daniel Meyer, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Isaac Alexander Miller. <laughs> Sydney Grace Miller, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Uriah Saxon Milner, Core 40. Tyson Alexander Minix, Core 40. <laughs> Seth David Moon, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Christian Michael Moore. Carol Noel Morris, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Landon Michael Muse, Core 40. Tanner Douglas Music, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Kara Lexi Nelson, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Joshua Wade Norman Price, Core 40. <laughs> AJ Charles Knotts, Core 40 with Academic and Technical Honors.
McKenna Brianne Ogle, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Yathita Orduño, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Aaron Edward Orr, Core 40 with Academic and Technical Honors. Gracelyn Elizabeth Usley, Core 40. Samantha Desiree Parks, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Henry John Anthony Paulson, Core 40. Michaela Ashley Peer, Core 40. Adriana Lee Potter, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Kira Ann Powers, Core 40. Nicole Lynn Ranstead, Core 40 with Academic and Technical Honors. Kylie Marie Reed Redding, Core 40. Thomas Patrick Rensberger, Core 40. Shayla K. Rich. Michaela Marie Riston, Core 40 with Academic Honors. McKenna Sue Ritter, Core 40. Michaela Rose Rodriguez, Core 40. Sadie Valeri Diet Rood, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Wilbur James Rood. Jenna Christine Schlarp, Core 40. Samantha Ann Seabolt. <laughs> Zoe Elise Setzer, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Hannah Jesse Ray Schaefer, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Otto Richard Sherbondi, Core 40 with Academic Honors. <laughs> Allison Renee Schufelt, Core 40 with Academic Honors. Stephanie Autumn Seipel, Core 40. Woo! 
William Kevin Stair, Core 40. Kane Michael Stavedaw. Paxton Lee Sutton. Gavin Lane Swanson, Core 40. Cheyenne Lynn Teal. Connor Allen Templeton, Core 40. Andrea Elizabeth Trigg, Core 40 with academic honors. Shelby Lucinda K. Troyer, Core 40. Morgan Brianne Tyler, Core 40 with academic honors. Madison Jane Wagner. <laughs> Brittany Renee Walker, Core 40 with academic honors. Deshaun Austin James Whitfield, Core 40 with academic and technical honors. <laughs> Trevon Micah Benjamin Whitfield, Core 40 with academic and technical honors. Elizabeth Claire Wuchik, Core 40. <laughs> Mariah Sue Yokum, Core 40 with academic honors. <laughs> Lindsay Renee Yokum, Core 40. Okay, this completes the presentation of diplomas for the class of 2016. This time it is my great honor to declare the class of 2016 officially graduated. Seniors at this time, please get the candles from under your chairs.
this exclusive presentation of the 2016 Rochester High School graduation ceremony is made possible through the support of these wonderful sponsors. RTC Fiber Communications, now offering wireless internet, fiber broadband, voice and cable television services. Stop in today to see how RTC can help you, your family and your business. Celebrating 120 years of service to this community. RTC Fiber Communications. Rochester Glass Company, serving the Fulton County area since 1956. Family owned and operated, Rochester Glass provides automotive, residential, and commercial glass service. Fulton County Solid Waste. Save money, save time, and help the environment with our new Pay As You Throw program. Purchase your bags at Solid Waste during normal business hours. Only pay for the bags you need. Fulton County Solid Waste. WROI 92.1 FM and WROIFM.com Congratulations to the graduating class of 2016. Keep tuning in to the area's leader in local sports, news, and great music. 92.1 FM, WROI. Tonight's program is also sponsored in part by these fine local businesses. Beacon Credit Union, Evans Agency, Woodlawn Hospital, First Federal Savings Bank. Please support these great local businesses that support our community.